Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm Mindy Egan, and I'm so excited to be sharing inspiration with you today, featuring the Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber collaboration with Honey Bee Stamps. These stamps are sold exclusively at Simon Says Stamp and are in limited quantity, which means if they sell out, they are not restocked. So if you like this stamp set, you can pause me at any time. I have a link down below in the video description where you can go grab this set and then come back and check this out. This stamp set called Warm Wishes from Honey Bee Stamps is super adorable and has tons of images on here for scene building, including sentiments. So I picked out a few images from the set that I wanted to work with. I'm placing them on 80 pound white cardstock and I'm going to pick them up with the door of the Misty and ink them up using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. This is a Copic friendly ink and I plan on coloring these with my Copic markers. You can purchase the stamp set individually or with the coordinating dies. I'm going to start coloring my snowman because he's the easiest thing for me to color. I am using some really light blues here, BG11 and BG10, just adding that to one side of the snowman. He's going to be mainly white. I just want to have that shadow area. I also added the snow to the top of the trees. I have our 22, 21, and 20 for the scarf. I have some light grays for the uh, parts of the sled. Now I will have all of the Copic markers listed down below in the video description as well. I normally don't link every Copic marker individually, but I thought I would today since this is a fairly simple card to put together and there's not a lot of supplies used on it. I'm going to show you the coloring of one of the trees. I didn't end up using this because it just got to be kind of too cluttered in the area that I was creating the scene in, but I wanted to leave that in there for you just in case. I am going to bring in the green to color that kind of ribbon area of the hat and also these same greens. Now I chose to do the bottom present as green because I thought I was gonna have these trees in here and I didn't want the present on top to be green and kind of blend in with the trees that were gonna be in the background. That doesn't matter at this point because I didn't end up using the trees, but that is why I chose to color the bottom present green. I'm going to come back up to the sled and use some browns for this, E25, 23, and 21 doesn't have to be real great. You could even just use one marker because most of it's going to get covered up by the presents anyway. Now for my present, I added the darkest color, the R29, to the sides of the present and then also on each side of the ribbon, mainly because I thought there'd be a shadow there. After I finished coloring, I didn't really care for how it looked, but once I was looking at the video and kind of stepped back from this a little bit, now I can see the shiny spots of the wrapping paper and now I'm happy with it. But sometimes we really need to just take a step back from our project. For the other present, I'm doing some light pinks here, which is the same color I did for the scarf. So I die cut out the images and then I'm going to work on my scene. So I have a piece of 80 pound white cardstock here cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm lining that up with the lines on my glass surface here. And I'm using that as a guide to mask off one end of my card. I'm also using those grid lines to help mask off the two sides. So I have one end that's open. Now I'm just going to fold over or rip off any excess post-it tape. I put this in my Misty and I am going to stamp this kind of hilly background here. It's just kind of line art, but I wanted to have some grounding to my images. You don't see a ton of it, but I do think it helps. It's those small details sometimes that we might overlook. So I'd rather have it than not. So after I stamped that, which it's also stamped over that masking area, I'm going to bring in the color Twilight. I'm trying to use ink colors that I don't normally grab, and this one is super pretty. I'm going to start at the top that has the post-it uh, tape at the top, and I'm blending it with a flat blending brush. As I get down towards that line of the snowy hill, I'm just getting light handed, which means I'm not applying a lot of pressure. But I will go back up to the top and add or go a little more heavy handed so I have this gradual transition of color. Then I can remove all of that masking and I have this beautiful masked off area except for the very top because I missed a smidge. So I trimmed that off with my paper trimmer. 
To help set up my scene, I'm going to go ahead and attach the hat and the scarf using my liquid glue that I have in this fine tip bottle and also my tweezers. So I placed this in my Misty, lined up that sled with the presents and the snowman, and figured out where I wanted these sentiments to be, and I'm going to stamp them in the intense black ink. Now these sentiments are included on that stamp set. Now I can finish the assembly of my card. I'm adding a dot runner behind the sled. That's going to be the image furthest in the background. So I'll add that to the back and attach that down. And for my snowman and my presents, I am going to add some foam squares behind that. I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to these. So I'm using the Simon Says Stamp 3D foam squares. And then once I remove the backing, I can use my tweezers to help align this. I almost always use my tweezers for this because it keeps my fingers out of the way and I can get a really good visual of where they're sitting on my card. I had also stamped that little heart up by the sentiment so I'm going to grab some of my Copic markers that I used on the presents which is just a really light pink and I'm going to fill that in. I also wanted to add a few highlights to my presents and some of the parts of the snowman and to do that I'm just going to bring in a white jelly roll pen. Now keep in mind, this stamp set is limited in quantity, so if you want it, definitely head over and grab it before it sells out. And I also want you to keep in mind that good vibes only down in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed today's sweet and simple scene using this snowman. Now keep in mind, even if you don't have this stamp set or didn't get a chance to grab it, I hope you still found this video inspirational in other stamp sets you may have in your collection. All of my supplies are listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Here are a few more videos I think you might like.